The latissimus flat breast reconstruction technique utilizes skin and muscle from the back and swings it around to the chest to help reconstruct a breast. So because the blood flow to the latissimus muscle and the overlying skin enters the tissue in the armpit, the tissue does not need to be disconnected and reconnected to be moved to the chest. In other words, it can be passed through your armpit from your back to your front to add tissue to your chest to help reconstruct your breasts. The downside to the latissimus flap is that it generally does not have enough volume to completely reconstruct a breast. Usually we need to put a tissue expander underneath it to expand it and then replace the expander for an implant or place an implant underneath it to add more volume. Rarely is the latissimus flap alone enough volume to reconstruct a breast without an implant. The latissimus flap itself is a very flat, thin flap, and it does a great job adding skin to the chest wall when there's not enough skin. It also does a nice job covering the underlying implants with a big muscle, which reduces the risk for infection. But what it cannot do is add a significant amount of volume on its own. So nearly every breast reconstruction with a latissimus flap does require an implant underneath. The resulting scars from a latissimus flap are a scar on your back where the latissimus flap and skin paddle were harvested. So there'll be a scar on your back which can be somewhat, can be horizontal or oblique in either direction and you can kind of tell me which one you'd prefer. I generally plan it to go with the little back roll you might have and use that skin and fat to add to your breast. Um, so you'll have a scar on your back from where that was harvested. And then the scar on your breast has more to do with what we start with than anything else. So if you're missing a lot of skin on your breast, you're going to have an oval shaped scar on your breast where the latissimus flap skin added skin to your chest or your reconstructed breast. If you have a lot of extra in reasonably good shape skin on your chest or your reconstructed breast, we will need to expose and use less of the latissimus flaps skin, which would then change the scar on your breast. At the time of a latissimus flap reconstruction, there will be a drain in the breast and a drain in your back, and both of them will exit your body around the area of your armpit. The drain in your breast will likely come out in around a week or less if you had a mastectomy performed a long time ago, and the drain in your back may stay in for a couple weeks. You may be wondering, well, do I need my latissimus muscle back there? Am I going to miss it? And the answer for most people is no, you won't even know that it's gone. It is a redundant muscle. There are lots of other muscles that can move your shoulder in the same way. The only time you might miss your latissimus muscle is if you are a competitive swimmer or rock climber. Otherwise, most people do not notice any functional change when their latissimus muscle is moved from their back to their chest. To learn more, check out our website where you can upload your photos and concerns as a virtual consult. You can also check out our price estimator to get pricing information for all the various procedures we offer. And finally, if you'd like to have your questions answered on a future podcast or Q&A video session like this, please leave a message on our SpeakPipe. You can go to our blog page and our SpeakPipe is located there. Thanks for listening.